Eliza Wiggum was an abolitionist. This meant she campaigned for the end of human slavery worldwide. End slavery once and for all. Eliza was a well-known member of a group called the Edinburgh Ladies Emancipation Society. These Scottish women campaigned for slaves to be freed and thought that Scotland shouldn't trade with slave owners. In Eliza's time, there were parts of America where it was still legal for white people to own black slaves. Eliza believed this to be unacceptable. In the southern states of America, slaves were used to produce goods like tobacco, sugar and cotton. These were sent over to Scotland and sold here. A lot of people and organisations made money out of slavery this way. For example, the Scottish Free Church received money from the American southern states. This made Eliza and her campaigners very angry indeed. They began campaigning for the Scottish Free Church to Send back the money! Eliza wrote to ask famous speakers to join their cause. Dear Mr Douglas, I would like to invite you to Edinburgh. One of the speakers she invited was Frederick Douglass, who famously escaped slavery in America. All the way from America, Mr. Frederick Douglass. No man can put a chain about the ankle of his fellow man without at last finding the other end of it fastened about his own neck. Send back the money! And early one morning, Frederick and Eliza carves their message for the free church to send back the money on the grassy hillside of Holyrood Park, which could be seen from all over the city. This message was powerful. It reminded everyone that it was wrong to benefit from slave labour. Campaigns like this forced Victorian society to see that they were supporting slavery by trading with slave owners. The right to own slaves in the southern states would be fought over in the American Civil War 20 years later, and in 1865, the abolition campaign would finally be won. Slavery in the USA came to an end.